To generations. This is our Thanksgiving special, and we are so glad that you're joining us today. We're here with Ashley, and Ashley, we have the queen with us. Wow. wow. She's wow. here. She's back. She really is a part of the show. <laughs> <laughs> so glad to have you back. So I'm glad so glad thankful to be here. that you're here. <laughs> so you know, glad. me and Ashley, Welcome. we both live in Nashville, and mom is in Detroit, Michigan. Our home and uh, so she has joined us here and there on Zoom but we have her live and in color and boy don't you look beautiful. What an honor. <laughs> How you been? I'm doing good, thank good. the Lord. Good. Well you know this holiday we uh, we focus a lot on food <laughs> and it makes us all smile, huh That's why it's the best holiday. <laughs> Thanksgiving. So, so joining us throughout the show um, is Chef Q from Q1227. It's an awesome restaurant in Sacramento, California. So if you're ever in that area, you don't want to miss the opportunity of going <laughs> to this restaurant. We have been there a couple of times now, and uh, every time we leave, we are more than satisfied. It is such a blessing. <laughs> um, but before we go further with the food, we're going to start with the scripture. Um, and that is First Chronicles uh, 16 and 8. And it says, oh, give thanks oh, to the Lord. Oh, let's be excited about this, right? <laughs> Full of enthusiasm. Mm -hmm. Oh, give thanks to the Lord. Call upon his name. Make known his deeds among his peoples. And that is what we're doing. That's really what this show is about, Generations, is making known his deeds. Because yeah. God is good. Yes, and we is. know he's worthy to be praised every day, not yes. just the holiday yes. season. Right. But we have so much to be grateful for and to be thankful for. So I'm glad you guys are watching. Call your friends, call your neighbors, call your family, and tell them to tune in to Generations. All right. Let's talk about food. Ooh. Yes. Something oh. I'm very oh. grateful for. Uh, happy Look Thanksgiving, family. Happy, happy Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving. Welcome. How are you Thank doing? You. Great what night. an honor to be here, Great. guys. Great. All the way from Sacramento. All the way from oh, Sacramento, this California. This looks amazing. Thank you, guys. Oh, it's beautiful. Happy yes, Thanksgiving. Happy Thank Thanksgiving, you. Chef. This is awesome. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks for being I'm here. I'm on your show. <laughs> <laughs> ah! okay. Finally made it to the show. Oh, so glad that you're here. Okay, this is so cute. This is like, yeah, what this, is, this? this is beautiful. already elevated. I've never seen this at my Thanksgiving table. Yeah, our food does awesome. not look like this at Thanksgiving. So how can can we elevate Thanksgiving this well, year? Well, you can just take take a regular salad. This is a field green salad. What field we did salad. was we put it in a Parmesan cheese basket, and the entire basket wow. is edible. Okay. We did a pear, a cherry pear vinaigrette, okay. and on the on the bottom of your plate there, we have roasted heirloom tomatoes. Mm. I mean, you talk about elevating Thanksgiving. Yes. This is a simple way to do it, because you can do those baskets ahead of time. And, and they're then you beautiful. can just put your salad inside. So what kind of cheese is this? That's Parmesan cheese. So you just put it in the pan. I saw you put it in a it. pan and then you find a mold and you just let it fall over a mold. We used a bowl here. Wow. So it's absolutely divine. Can I yeah. eat this? You can can eat, I taste this? You can eat everything on that plate. <laughs> well, well, we're going to do that. Good. We're Thank so you. glad you you're guys here. Enjoy. Now, now, what's happening later? Are you going to... You know what? I'm going to go in and make an entree more? for you. Yes, there's oh, more. Wow. We talk about so elevating good. Thanksgiving. Yes. So I got a dish in that kitchen that I'm going to bring out for you. Okay. All right. It's not the traditional, bit. but we're going to elevate it. You got it. Enjoy your salad. I'll be back. Thank you. Thank you, Shay. Thank you. I'm going to dig in right now. So okay, this, I don't want. I don't. Too, I don't want to it have. It's too um, pretty to eat. I know. I don't want to mess up the bowl, but I do love cheese. <laughs> so we and have. I don't want and green in my teeth as cheese. we finish the show. We but, have walnuts and we have oh my apples goodness. and I think he said this is feta. Mm-hmm. Is this feta or blue yeah. cheese? And it's beautiful. You look at all it's the colors. Beautiful. All of the fall colors are in it. So that's a good idea to make the bowl something edible. And yes. It seemed like it was pretty simple. So beautiful. Ooh, it's really good. <laughs> so mm. we're going to talk very about it. Okay, yeah. He's making all the noises and everything to stop going to. <laughs> stop eating well, the food. <laughs> she's not eating just for herself. She's eating for two. Oh, that's I right. am eating for two, everyone. Right. 
there's so another go baby on, on the and way. Enjoy yourself. <laughs> Make that announcement. Yes. Yeah, we the... just found out yesterday that it's a girl. Ooh. So I'm having a girl next. So Wyatt, Wyatt has got a Wyatt's getting a sister. Be, yes, he's gonna be a big brother, so he's gotta I think I don't he's know, share the attention to, a little bit. I think he's gonna <laughs> love being a big brother to a sister because well he likes babies, so he's always like, Of course. Baby, baby. <laughs> and he'll be kissing all over her. Of course. And I loved having an older brother, so I'm happy for her that she's gonna have have a Why yeah. is an older brother? And actually, it's yeah, going to be really, really about the same time frame. Yeah. You and Alvin are two years apart. Yeah, we're two she years and did, two months. She and did so. everything like you she did. Just I repeated. guess I'm just she trying repeated. to follow in your footsteps. <laughs> so they'll be two years and three months apart. So almost exactly the same distance. Wow. Well, Mom, yeah. I'm so glad to have you here. I'm and, so glad. And I know this is probably one of your favorite topics, and that is just being grateful. Oh my goodness. I mean, oh my, oh my goodness. We have so many have reasons to be grateful. So, so many. I know I told you to bring some notes if you wanted to. So, if you want to put that so on that side things. so you can. Yeah, so many. There are so many things to, to be, be grateful, grateful for. for. I you know. I know. I can't Ashley. think of them all. But um, certainly one of the best comes in John 3.16. Says God so loved the world mm -hmm. that He gave His only begotten Son. His only begotten Son. That yeah. whosoever believeth in Him shall not perish, mm -hmm. but have everlasting life. Yeah. Can you find anything more <laughs> to, to be, be grateful, grateful about for? No. Than that? No. Definitely not. And and that's that's so huge, Mom, because so many times we look for material things, right? And we forget the main thing how that God did, how are. blessed we are, all of us, how everybody, we are. because God loves everybody. He loves you. He loves me. No matter where you whether are or what you've done, or he, he set poor. a plan in place for all of us to be blessed before, oh. you know, at the beginning of time, you know, and he gave his only begotten son. So, yes. So he gave us life. Yes, he did. Right? Certainly. I am grateful that God saved me. Yeah. Grateful for Salvation. the blood of Jesus mm. that saves all of us from sin, gives yeah. us eternal life. Yeah. I had a couple of scriptures here. You want to set it up on there or you want me to take it? Um, you can take it. Okay. Let me take it and read it and I give it back to you. Because I'm glad, can... you know, as I said, for salvation. Mm -hmm. And I'm certainly glad that my salvation is sure. Definitely. It's sure. It's a sure foundation. A sure foundation. <laughs> Don't have to keep rechecking. It's done. Yes. <laughs> Jesus said that we, we're in his hands. Yeah. He's given us eternal life. Yeah. Can you just imagine <laughs> <laughs> yeah. whatever happens here, we're in his hand as it's a sure salvation. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Because he, he said, if you're in my hand, nobody... No man can pluck you out. Yeah, man. that's John 10, 28. It yes. says, I am in God's hand. And Jesus said that, I, uh, said that I give them eternal life and they shall never perish. And listen, wow. neither shall any man pluck them out of my hand. We can't be plucked out of his hand. That's We've got a good. sure salvation. Very that's encouraging. Good. Years ago when he saved me mm -hmm. and I gave my life to him. And I promised to live for him. He gave me a sure salvation. Nobody can take that away. Nobody from can me. take That's it awesome. away. Nobody. Yeah. And so I'm grateful for that. Yeah. And certainly there, like I said, there are many things to be grateful for. I'm grateful for the life that I have here mm -hmm. that I've had with my husband and all my children. Yeah. The life yeah. that he gave me here was enough to be yeah, grateful for. Yeah, I know. You remember the song that um Andrew Crouch sang a song called, It's Been Worth Just Having the Lord in My Life. It's having the Lord in my life. <laughs> yeah. But I still want that, you know, he that said. That eternal life. Yeah, yeah. I still yeah. want that. But, it said, but also he had a song where if heaven wasn't promised to me, it's and still that's been an worth. Yeah. yeah. But it is. But it is. <laughs> Thank you, God. <laughs> and I want everything God promised. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now, you and Dad, you were married for how long? 55 and a half years Ooh. before. Went home to be with the Lord, wow. and we got to see a lot of things happening with our children. Mm -hmm. 
I'm, I've been left here to see more than he did. Mm -hmm. He didn't see any of the great grandchildren. Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. But the Lord has left me here to see that. Yeah. <laughs> so I am eternally grateful. Yeah. You've seen a lot of those me. prayers be answered. Yes. Yeah. Wow. Answered down through the generations. Down through the generations. That's awesome. Because God said it was not just for us, but it's for our children and our children's children. children. Yeah. What was Thanksgiving like growing up? in the Wynans' oh, home. Oh, boy, it was a week <laughs> long getting things ready. <laughs> yeah, how many hours would you say? How you many had to days? Pray? days? Yeah, how many days did you have to <laughs> Because pray? it was you, Grandma, uh, who else would help cooking? Well, it was, it was, it was mostly just me and Yeah, her. you, you wow. and Grandma. Yeah. And it would be at y'all's house? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes. Wow. yes. It would usually be at our house, but she... She'd bring a lot of things. Thank God for her. Yes, yes. <laughs> this is Grandma Dad's mom. mom. Yeah. Okay. I mean, Granddad's, Granddad's mom. Granddad's mom. Yeah, yeah. Yep. Oh, Man. wow. And we just would cook up dinner. We'd cook up the things we could put in the refrigerator. And, yeah. You had and the a plan. Next day, yeah, we had a plan. You had to have a plan with you all of us. To. And I'm all guessing the kitchen wasn't would very come. big. Oh, no, it wasn't big. <laughs> I know the house one wasn't oven. Very big. She said the house wasn't big. <laughs> one big. oven, you know those. Things. We have all these luxuries now. Oh Double my God. ovens. Yeah. And You're right. All Ashley. these extra freezers and yeah. <laughs> that I'm just I don't trying know to, how to use. <laughs> just trying to imagine this. That's simple, true. small kitchen and how many mouths to feed over Thanksgiving. But, but on our traditional ovens, we that's had right. They did it all. Delicious oh, food. Yeah, delicious they did it all. I'd love to go back in time and they did it some all. of this food. You always talk about Grandma too. Food. Grandma Lar, moms. I mean, and of course we did. We did everything. We did the chitlins. I, I, I never she ate the chitlins. The she did the chitlins. She did chitlins. Did you? Did you eat chitlins? Yes. You loved them too. Them. When she made them, because she cleaned them real good oh, and seasoned yeah. them. So uh, po oh. most of our audience will probably have to go and research what that is. <laughs> yeah, I can't say I've indulged. You in might get grossed chitlins. out, but hey, somehow they made it where they all loved it. <laughs> oh. Um, yeah. But then it was, I mean, it was everything. Turkey, ham, ham, dressing, beef. beef. Oh my goodness, all the pies and cakes. Well, I mean, y'all did it getting all. Hungry. We did it you all. say get hungry, ready to eat some I'm more. I'm gonna eat some more of this salad while you <laughs> but guys just, talk again, about. Just talking about gratitude. So you're grateful for life. You're grateful for well, first of all, salvation. Because that is that is that the greatest is, gift yes, of all. Right. That's right. That is the greatest. Gift that's the greatest miracle. Mm -hmm. Salvation. That's Let me it. make that very plain. This is why we can be grateful no matter what's going on in our mm -hmm. lives. Yeah. It's not predicated on everything being perfect and mm -hmm. every prayer being answered it's and you having good. everything you need. The, the greatest prayer has already been answered, right. and that is salvation. So yes. we all have a reason. No matter where you are, what you're going through, you can look up and be grateful and thankful because of what God did and what Jesus right. did. Right. He gave his life. He paid the price. And all you have to do is receive and believe of what happened on the cross. Just believe so his promise. That's that's where the gratitude comes from. Right. Right. And it then and then all the other extra things that he does for us, our right. health and strength, mm -hmm. to be clothed in mm -hmm. our right minds. You know, the Bible says he has not given us a spirit of fear, but of power, love, and a sound, sound mind. mind. Yes, you know. Yes. What would you say to people um, that maybe are dealing with anxiety or worry? or worrying about something during the holiday season? To stop now and give it to God. <laughs> give it to God. Yeah. You can't fix it. That's good. You mm -hmm. can't fix it, can't but God it. can. That's yeah. good. And he promised he would. He promised he would. Yeah. So if we if we quit being anxious about it and trying to fix it and give it to him and leave it there, yeah. Mm -hmm. And if you get up and don't leave it there the first time, go back and do it again and yeah. leave it there because that's what you have to do. Right. If he's going to fix it, you got to give it to him. Mm -hmm. And I, I think this is so important that we, that we land here for a minute and talk about this because I think that is probably the number one thing that our world is dealing with, the stress and the anxiety. People are really searching for peace. Yes. And here in Jesus, even our, our uh, message we, we heard not too long ago, we, when you receive Jesus, you really receive the Prince of Peace. That's who he is, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. you know? Right. And so we say leave it to him, but how do you do that? How do we leave? I think you have to continue to pray. It's through prayer. Because in the Bible, the, the scripture that right after it says, be anxious for nothing, the alternative pray. is to pray. pray. But and in not everything. everything. 
and 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 when you do that, it says the peace comes. Yeah, right. And so sometimes I know we all can be guilty of worrying about things or being nervous, right. and it's just kind of these thoughts swirling in our head, and we mm-hmm. forget to stop and be like, oh, maybe I should actually pray about this. And I think that's how you give it to God. You continue to bring it to Him. You you invite Him into the situation. You ask him for wisdom and even just verbalizing it to the Lord and kind of getting it off your chest. I do think that's where the exchange there you comes go. That's good. and he gives you the peace. So right. I think that's how you give burdens to the Lord is through prayer. So I think the key to helping with, you know, lowering the levels of anxiety is to up your prayer. Right. Up prayer your prayer. Time. That's good. That's what works for me. That's good. That's what works for all of us. That's what the Bible says. So so (laughs) it must be right. So so like you said, when you pray and you still feel it, don't just stop. Go back. Go back. Keep, yeah. That's why the Bible says pray without ceasing. Keep praying. Because there's always things that are going to come and try to steal that peace. Mm-hmm. Um, but he said, if you keep your mind stayed on me, mm-hmm. I'll keep you in perfect peace. Yeah. Yeah. So be anxious for nothing. Be anxious for nothing. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And, and to meditate on the word. The good things, um, yeah. Because I think you have, you have to be intentional. You have to kind of interrupt your thoughts, you have to stop. You have to actually pray like out loud because it doesn't say thinking about it is going to bring right. peace. <laughs> it says right. pray, pray about everything, and then choose to meditate on a scripture that you know ties in a promise for whatever it is whatever that you're, you're needing. Through. Yeah, whatever you're desiring, whatever it is that that's happening. So I think prayer and then having having scriptures ready to to think about and meditate right. on and let to that read. be kind of what takes up your mm-hmm. thoughts. Right. As opposed to the issue or the problem, like because you said you can't fix it, you don't have the power to do it all on your own. Mm-hmm. You need God to intervene. Right. So I think that's awesome. So Ashley, um, let's switch it over to you now. What are you grateful for this season? <laughs> um, I'm definitely grateful for delicious food. Um, <laughs> I, yes, especially now. While you're um, talking, I, I, I'm grateful for my family. I'm grateful for you too. I'm grateful for uh, the expanding of my family and another little baby to love on and kiss yes. on. Yes. She's actually moving right now. Is she? Yeah. She Hi, likes little. these tomatoes. <laughs> so we have another generation at the table with us. Another yes. generation girl. She would female. like to say a few words. No, I'm just um, yeah, I'm definitely grateful for uh, yeah the chance to have a daughter. You guys both you have a daughter. You have two daughters. I'm sorry, three, three daughters. daughters. <laughs> three and you daughters. have one. One. So uh, what would you guys say is the best part? About having well, a ask daughter, me, ask, ask G. Barbie, daughters. ask your grandmother, because she went through seven boys first. <laughs> yeah. Then I came along. Oh, I've goodness. heard they're a little more calm, not as hyper as the boys oh, tend to be. Definitely. Oh, they're definitely. A <laughs> After boys, they're a breeze. I'm. I think because growing up, I wasn't like a girly girl. I was more of a tomboy. Right. I, I think like there's this expectation you have girls, you have to be like. <gasps> Going no, on all the girl things, that. so I'm like, hey, I would put those. She might want would, all that, but I'm not get, forcing any of that on her. Those dresses with uh, ruffles, ruffles, and, and she's like, I don't like I that. I'm like, no, you have to like I don't think like I did bows. No, ever. You didn't. I, I was. You would just, take them out your hair. Yeah, so, so. we'll see. I'll, she <laughs> might not be like that. She right. might like her. She right. might <laughs> like all that stuff. I think a lot of women say like, when you get older, it's fun to have like a you know shopping partner. Go get your nails done and like those kind kinds of things. I'm like, yeah, that, that'll be fun. <laughs> so I'm, I'm grateful just for yeah, the other opportunity to get to now experience having a daughter yeah. after having a son. Yeah. Um, and yeah. I'm other, of course, Jesus, I'm grateful for his peace, like we were just talking about. I just think peace is priceless, especially, yeah. <laughs> you know, these Never. days and all the uncertainty and all the craziness going on in the world. Um, yeah. I'm just thankful for his peace that yeah. just remains and that doesn't fluctuate yeah, depending the on one sure thing. what's happening in the world. <laughs> um, and yeah, just to get to spend time with family. We're going on our family vacation for Thanksgiving. Right. I'm looking forward to that. Tell um, the people about that. So we normally yeah we we up. would do we started after was it after uh, Uncle Ronald passed, Ronald away, passed away we started feeling like we need to come together more yeah. not just for a you know a funeral or um, a wedding but we started being intentional about having family reunions mm-hmm. and so it would take place during Thanksgiving and we would do it every other year right 
and we did it for a while. Yeah. And then we took a little break for I don't know how many years. So this is our first time in a one while. One back after I don't know four, four years. years. It's no, four. it's been more than four years. Because Me and Auntie Debbie were. It was talking really about it. you've been married for how long? Five. So maybe it's been five. It's been at least no. It was been like even because me and Auntie Debbie that? just talked about this. Yeah, because she thought okay. the same thing. She was like. Well, your wedding is what kind of, and I was like, no, remember, it was way, it was years before I got married that we had our last reunion. Oh, really? we, came, we came up with the year, but I can't remember off the top of my head. But it's the first time we've all Coming gotten back. together and done it. That's the, for, that's the point. For just the fact of like having a reunion, because, you know, we've seen yeah. each other over the years. For different but the occasions. family's grown because you, mm-hmm. Wyatt is be his first time. Yep, his first and time. And then Joy. Alvin just of, got married. Alvin so just got married. So he can bring his bride. new bride. And <laughs> yes, all of the extra kids that are around. That's and, right, extra kids. Because um, Coconut and Monique. Yeah, they have four yeah. now. I think the last time we did it, it was just three. Little, right, it was just three. I don't even think they had yep. So the family or... keeps growing, but this year we're coming back together. Uh, and so that's exciting. I'm yeah, I'm, I'm grateful exciting. for that. So, okay. Ashley, what are some some ways that people can give back during this time? You know, we're talking about mm-hmm. being thankful and and we have gratitude, but it's, you know, we know that the Bible tells us it's more blessed to give than to receive, right? Mm-hmm. So what are ways that people can give back during this season, you think? I think there's tons of ways. I know they have different, um, we have here in Nashville, the rescue mission, you can go and serve. Yeah, I think which is probably in different cities everywhere. Yeah, I'm sure every wherever you are, there's an opportunity to serve and you know, these are the times people tend to think about the less fortunate, right. which in return kind of makes them even more grateful for what they That's do right. have. That's because right. Because it's all those things we take for granted, just like being able to go to the grocery store and buy food and mm-hmm. have right. food in the house. And everybody and can do that. And not stressing about that. So, um, yeah, at reaching out, asking if, if there's people in your church or right. on your job or uh, friends or neighbors who might need help, like if they need a meal. Um, I think there's a lot of little ways you can yeah. you can give back uh, just looking around you and, and you might not even know somebody around you is, is struggling. I remember one Thanksgiving, I thought it was awesome. Debbie, you know, the family was over here mm-hmm. and we had so much food. Mm-hmm. You know, I think, I think that's just yeah, that thing. Because growing up, you know, in a big family, <laughs> you just feel like it might not be enough. <laughs> right. It might not be enough. <laughs> and, and so I just remember the food that we prepared, and and I never really could size it down when it came time for you yeah. know cooking for my family that was hard only to, half, not even half of what ours was. It's hard to make was. Thanksgiving for it's a small hard to make it for a small amount of people. Um, but we had a lot of extra food, and we made plates, and we took it down to the homeless, and mm-hmm. we. And to me, that just brought so much joy. Yeah, that brings so joy. It's out a of good our idea. excess. Just yeah. having, yeah, just realizing, man, we have more than you enough. You have more than enough. So right. I think even going into that mm-hmm. um, with the the intentions on the front end that we're going to give to somebody else mm-hmm. right. is, is a way that you can really have joy. And I'm speaking to a lot of people who don't have family. People who have lost their parents and and maybe they're by themselves, mm-hmm. you know. Like you said, I think join and making sure you're in a church community yes. and seeing how you can serve. Because right. really, as we get older, you get that revelation. When I got that revelation that it really is more blessed to give than to receive, it changes everything. Right. It does. Yeah. And you get so much more out of the holidays and every day when mm-hmm. you start thinking about other people, mm-hmm. because it's always, no matter what you're going through, it's always somebody who has it worse. Right. Yeah, and I think if, if maybe your church isn't doing anything, um, just do some research and find out Community. what churches are doing mm-hmm. something to benefit those who are in need uh, during the holiday season and, and just yeah. be intentional about participating in any way you can. Yeah, That's in our right. church, our mother's board usually goes through the church to find out who had what doesn't have enough or yeah. mm-hmm. if a certain person something. has a lot of children and they need a lot, a lot of help, That's we good. pick their names, mm-hmm. so many families a year, and see that they get what they need for Thanksgiving and mm-hmm. Christmas. That's great. Or even That's taking great. it a step further and inviting people into your house and mm-hmm. having them yeah, you can right. do over for Thanksgiving. Several right. times when people don't have family. So right. yeah. So yeah, it's it just makes it I don't know. It just shows the love of God, and that's what every holiday season is about. That's what it's about. Is, is sharing the love of God, you that's know. What it, um, 
So we're going to take a break. And when we come back, I'm going to talk about some of the things that I'm grateful for this year. Hope you guys are enjoying the show. I'm here at my home in the middle of a project, but you know, I just wanted to talk to you about family traditions. You know, family traditions is the thing that connects every generation. So they're so important that we cultivate them and that we don't lose them, that we don't lose them. You know, I'm so grateful for my parents because they were very intentional about teaching us what was important, what was important to keep us together, what was important in order to continue to walk in the ways of the Lord. And, you know, the holiday seasons was all about family, was about food. Um, you know, my parents would would sponsor us in concerts. We would do the Winans Christmas concerts. We would do Mother's Day concerts. And all of these things put um, a, a something in us that, that understood the importance of coming together and doing something over and over and over again. And because of that, I understand with my children how important it is to create those moments, to create space for traditions, godly traditions, that will guarantee to bless every family member now until Jesus comes. Now that I have my own children, it's so important that we create those spaces and memories for traditions that will keep us grounded as a family, but most importantly, grounded in the things of the Lord. And then I have my first grandson, my first grandbaby, Wyatt, and I'm believing for more to come. But it's so important that I have it rooted and grounded in my children so that they can deposit that in Wyatt and in the next generation. And that's the way we continue being a strong family and a strong church. So remember, traditions are important. Welcome back. We are having a awesome, awesome uh, time here. We started with the elevation of the food and we enjoyed, did you enjoy the salad? Yes. Oh Very my good goodness. Salad. Ashley, I think you it's almost delicious. finished all of yours. Delicious. And Chef Q is coming back to bless us again. All right. Hey, what are we, oh, what do you all have? All right, guys, we got that salad out of the way. Our so now we got the entrees. So Ooh, I'm sitting down in front of you guys, a cinnamon entree. dusted pork tenderloin. It has smashed potatoes, and house-made oh, cranberry sauce. Oh so my goodness. We talk about Thanksgiving and everybody gets tired of turkey, Cece. Okay. So yeah. what I did here was we got pork tenderloin mm. and we cinnamon dusted it with house spices, smashing potatoes, and I made that cranberry sauce just like my mama used to make it, Mom Wines. So I really hope you guys enjoy that. You guys take we care, all right? Will. All right. God awesome. bless you, God bless, bless you, all. you, Chef Q. Many blessings. Remember Q, upon Chef Q. Q 1227. If you're in the Sacramento area, Sacramento. you're going to be, yes, you do. It's worth the trip. It really is. So while, you know, me and G Barbie get to indulge, why don't you tell us why you're thankful? Okay. Other than All right. me, of course. <laughs> <laughs> I am grateful for so many things. Like mom said, the number one thing is that I am saved. <laughs> I know the Lord and I am just so grateful. The older I get, the more grateful I am for that, period. Amen. Because that is the source where everything else comes God, from. That's right. But I'm grateful for my mom being here, mm -hmm. 86 years now, yeah. right? Yes. Turn 86, she's looking amazing and she's still such a blessing in our lives. Yes. She's still straightening us out when we're out of <laughs> yeah, order. Yeah, she got on your case yeah, earlier. Yeah, today. I got in trouble today. <laughs> and she's right. She's here. And I have to go out of town. And I convinced her to come here a little earlier. To cancel all I can't my believe you did that. my schedule. I'm going to. <laughs> wow. I'm very disappointed. So work okay. on some things. Well. But she, she's, she gets <laughs> us and she forgives here. us. Yeah, she has a yeah, lot. Yeah, you do have You got others. a lot of extra kids. <laughs> so, <laughs> so I'm grateful for her. I'm grateful for... Of course, my marriage, um, my husband, uh, we, we've just been blessed. We've been blessed that peace in our home. We talked about peace earlier, so I'm grateful for that. Grateful for Ashley and Kenny and Wyatt. And your grandchildren. And now we grandchildren. Mm, you can say your grandchildren. grandchildren. My granddaughter. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh You're my goodness, we're in trouble. Her. We're in trouble. Um, so I'm so grateful for that. Grateful that, oh my goodness. One of your favorite people in the world got married. 
Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> my we're son, Al, but we're that. all grateful. Got married. And Ashley, you have a sister. I have a new sister-in-law. sister. A new sister. <laughs> Jasmine, and she's beautiful inside and out. And so I'm just happy for this phase of Alvin's life to get a, get a chance to experience marriage. And mm -hmm. I'll have some more grandbabies, Lord's <laughs> will. Uh, oh, yeah. Grateful for the church, Nashville Life, my church family, the, the body of Christ family. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know, they, they have prayed for me. And, and this... This fall, I got a chance to go on tour. It's been so many years since I've yes, gone on tour. Your tour, first <laughs> um, tour in many years. Yeah, we stopped off in Michigan and yeah. it was on your birthday. On my birthday. Yes. <laughs> what did you think that of the, the show? Best. Be oh, honest. No, I'm just wonderful. <laughs> you said be honest. <laughs> wonderful. It was incredible. It's been incredible. Yes, um, it was. I want to say thank you to everybody who came. We went to 20 cities in the wow. fall. And we're going to be touring again this spring, and um, I'll have but, to try to make. But one people of the came shows. out, yeah, yeah. Well, your your babies do. What? Um, the beginning end of, of end of March. End of March. So well, I have to I make at know. least we'll one because I didn't get to make any. Yeah. When is this, this new tour thing? starting? In the spring, in the spring of 2023. Oh, okay. I'll like finish some of, some of the cities. Well, in March. Yeah, we'll start around that time, but. But I was so grateful for everybody who came out because everybody came out really ready to worship. Mom, you know, it, was, it wasn't a concert oh, it that you came to. Beautiful. We had a the service. The people were the all people in. The people were all in. And I was worried if my voice was going to you know, hold up. But most of the concerts, really, everybody sang everything for <laughs> yeah, me. Great. Thank you all. <laughs> but but it was awesome. I had a great time and God really moved. And people were ready to get out. You know, since the pandemic, people people yeah. are ready to experience life again. Mm -hmm. And not, you know, we've been so isolated, but the tour allowed people to get out and come and bless the Lord together. Right. And you know, it's wonderful when we praise God yes. individually, but it's nothing like that corporate together. Yeah. Um, uh, expression. Mm -hmm. um, pretty, Absolutely. pretty awesome. So we have a few recaps. You know, we have a video some that some we highlights. can show some highlights. Well, all of it was a highlight, yeah. but, <laughs> <laughs> Just but, a but we have something for those of you who weren't able to make it or we didn't come to your city, we have something to show you so that you can experience a little bit of what we experienced. Concert. Let me Very tell you what first. happened. I had to go get an MRI. I was afraid to get in the machine, right? They said, I said, put on gospel music. They put on gospel music, and guess what was playing? Believe for it. Listen, God is faithful. Praise Even in an MRI exam, God spoke to me wow. through CC, so that's why I'm here. Ah! God is good. Oh, I'm just excited. God is good. He's good. And he's a healer. No cancer. So God is a keeper. Yes, he is. Thank you so much. Thank you, Jesus. in the 
this room tonight. <laughs> so, so, y'all have to understand, I thank you guys because you've been with me a long time. Yeah. You've allowed me to be a part of your life, you've allowed me to ride in the car with you, and to go through some rough times. Yeah. You, you, you've trusted our ministry, and I am forever grateful to you. I am forever, ever grateful. You see, when Bibi and I started on PTL, I was 17 years old. And I just turned 58 a couple of weeks ago. So y'all, we've been hanging out a while. But, but God has been faithful. And, and I want to say thank you from the bottom of my heart. I've even embraced my family and myself over the years. I do not take it lightly. And I love you for it. And I appreciate you for it. And I just want to keep doing whatever God wants me to do as long as he wants me to do it. Um, so give yourselves a hand for me tonight. You were phenomenal. Words cannot express how you blessed us. And I am believing for it in Jesus' name. I pray for the blessings of your entire tour. Bless you, Cece. Yeah! much for all that you do for my generation and generations to come. Thank you so much. I love you. Hi, CC. This is Gail. I've been loved for listening to you and BB for over 40 years. It took me until now that God blessed me to see you. And I was hoping and praying that BB walked in, but he didn't. But CC, my all oh, glory be to God. Thank you for finally seeing your face. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. Hello, Pastor Cece. This is Kevin Thorne. Can you tell hello? Hi. <laughs> and I'm Darlene Thorne. We came to your church May of 2021. And it was at that service that we got the opportunity to speak with you. And you prayed for my husband who had suffered a stroke back in 2019. And I want you to see what your prayers have done. Your prayers have encouraged him, and he is walking better, talking better, moving. And it's because you pray for him, you pray for our daughter Kennedy, and our lives have not been the same. And because of your yes, I, he, my husband is standing here today, and we are able to praise God for his healing touch. Thank you so much, Pastor Cece. We love you. Wonderful. You know, one of the things about touring is you meet some of the greatest people who have supported you throughout the years. And yes. mom, you know, Decades. we were talking about when when we first started out and you and dad. Um, we were having the, Yeah, you the sponsored concerts. us in concert. You saw <laughs> what you really felt cute. God had gave us. And so you guys put your money into putting us in concerts during right. the holiday seasons, right. right? Every holiday, Mother's Day and Thanksgiving or, right. or really at Christmas. Yeah, at the university college. And you they would sit back and say, I wonder if anybody gonna come see our kids. <laughs> How did you like get the word out about these shows? Did you just have flyers? Did you just, was it word of we mouth? We had flyers. flyers. Oh yeah, they worked had, it. Had it announced. <laughs> That's really <laughs> sweet. And we prayed that they would come. <laughs> And prayed. Let the people and come. Prayed. And they came. <laughs> but it was awesome. Came. It was awesome. And speaking of awesome, no. was this food oh, incredible? It, look it look it at Ashley's okay. plate. Awesome. Chef Q, come yes. on in. It, How it was, was everything? It was all right. Was everything all right? Put a cover over It was this. amazing. Oh, yes, she wanted to finish her. Yes, she, yes, she's, she loved it. I cleaned my plate. The look, baby oh, really liked it. She said the baby. And I was just telling him, I don't even like eat cranberries. Like, I never eat cranberries. Well, I'm so glad you enjoyed those. Well, it's been great. Thank you, guys for inviting me over. Oh, thank you. I'm so thankful for you guys. It's been awesome. Is it's there, awesome. Is there dessert? Uh, <laughs> I'm ready for dessert. Well, maybe after the show. Maybe after the show. After the, after the show. Well, I appreciate you guys oh, so much. Thank guys. you. That so much. So Love you guys. This, this was amazing. Thank Talking you. about elevating. Anything else you want to say about Thanksgiving? I, yeah. I I just, I'm, just, I'm just thankful for you all being in our lives. Thankful yeah. for God, but yeah. thankful for you guys being in our lives. Oh. It's awesome. And come come back out to the Sacramento Roseville area. Visit the restaurant I'm again. I'm booking my flight today. I will be booking Thank you guys, Mom. I love you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. That so was so good. delicious. So, wow. so good. And so we're so Man. grateful. And we all know 
there's no way we can go through everything we're grateful for because there's no, too many no. blessings, too, too many. many blessings, too many to count, too many to count. But it's one when more that I that morning, I want to share. Another one. That's right. Every day, <laughs> new 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 blessings every morning, mm -hmm. right? New mercies every mm -hmm. morning. Um, so one more I want to share is and that is Believe for It book. Wow, it is out, and Mom was like, Do wow. I have one? And I'm yeah. like, Of course you do. This is for you. That's do I but, have a copy? But Where's I'm grateful. My copy? I'm going to give you a copy too. I'm I guess you can have that. You can, uh, she's the queen. She's the queen. Yeah, you. you but get I'm it first. really grateful. It's out now, and and mom, it just talks about really you and all the <laughs> your generation, what you sacrificed for us. You know, we're here today. Ashley's here. We got another one coming, but we know who we are because of you. You took Praise out the God. time to pour into us, and yes, so thank you. this book is to encourage everybody, really, especially those my age and older. You're not done yet. You're not done yet. There's no, so much more, so much more to that you can pour. It's somebody around you you can pour into. Absolutely. You know, and when you do that, then you affect every generation. God wants to make a greater impact right. through your life. And yeah. so believe for it. I'm so grateful. Everybody who who helped me do this, um, and especially Suzanne Gosselin. She was the the writer that that helped me the get this writer. thing together, the ghost writer. She's amazing. And so I just pray that this book will bless you to really be grateful and to be thankful for what God has already done and what he's going to continue to do. Thank you for joining us on Generations. Happy Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving. And we love you. See Get a you copy. next time. Yeah. And don't forget to like and subscribe. Happy Thanksgiving. <laughs> Happy Thanksgiving. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. <laughs> to go please, All right. for tomorrow. We'll take another uh, round, hey, please. Seconds. Q. Mama trying to get a to-go plate. <laughs> But tomorrow, uh huh? More in there. Oh, she said. She said she wanted to go. She gonna. Mm. She gonna. <laughs> she wanna make sure she got some. It's so good. Delicious.